Before the age of the twilight set upon the gods, a legend rose to claim his place among them. And even though Kratos sat on the throne as the new god of war, he was haunted by visions of his family. A family he himself murdered. But the hands of death could not defeat him. The sisters of fate could not control him. And on this day, the man, the legend, Kratos, will have his revenge. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome to God of War 3. Yes, we're gonna do it. We're gonna start going through the uh, the end of the original trilogy since it has been, um, well, just upgraded a bit for uh, PS4. So uh, since we played God of War on PS4 before, so the new one, I thought it would be fitting to uh, bridge the gap between uh, Spider-Man and our next game with a little bit of uh, God of War memorabilia. Because, of course, I've played this game, so that's why this series is called a Let's Replay. But, uh, yeah, I think it would be nice to play through God of War 3 so we can see where Kratos came from in uh, God of War. It's annoying that that new game is also just called God of War. But, of course, the new God of War. Uh, the dioramas you're watching right now actually explain the story of God of War 1. So, basically, this is... Uh, Kratos defeating Ares at the end of God of War 1, grabbing the sword from uh, the statue of Athena and then using it to murder Ares. Uh, important with that one is that Kratos got his powers from uh, Pandora's box and afterwards he, uh, Athena didn't, didn't rid him of his nightmares of his dead family as I've explained before in the new God of War. And uh, Therefore, Kratos decided to kill himself, but the gold saved him once again and turned him into the new god of war. After that, he went on a rampage as the new god of war. He was really, really, well, power hungry and it decided to use the Spartan army and his powers as the new god of war to take over the entirety of Greece. But uh, yeah to strict him into uh, strict Kratos into putting all his powers in the blade of Olympus which he then used to kill Kratos. Kratos of course didn't die permanently uh, got rescued by the Titans and well embarked on a journey towards the Sisters of Fate to change history. So he turned around tried to use the blade on Zeus but Athena got in between there so he traveled back in time to stop his own death uh, and also used the sisters of faith to change the fate of the titans and freed them before Zeus could ever imprison them again and this is where this game starts because uh, Kratos the end of God of War 2 is Kratos on the backs of the titans heading towards Mount Olympus and well I've done all the intro I think I need to do uh, we're gonna go through this entire game and I think we're gonna go on hard uh, the combat system is completely different than the new my God of War vengeance. but uh, yeah I guess I'll get used to that pretty quickly so my vengeance is now my brothers we were forged in victory a victory that ended the Great War and brought forth the reign of Mount Olympus. Born from the depths of the underworld. This is the underworld, by the way, not Mount Olympus. Rooted in the river of souls. Our mountain emerged out of the chaos. As it grew, so too did the might of the Olympians. He created a world Will help? of peace. A world of prosperity. A world that lives in the shadow and safety of my mountain. A mountain that has come to be the absolute measure of strength and power. Goodbye, Harpy. Now, on this day, that power is to be tested. The mortal Kratos seeks to destroy all that I have wrought. 
There we go, the Titans climbing Mount Olympus. Put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite. We will stand together. And I will wipe out this plague. Olympus will prevail. And there we have the gods. Well, what's left of them, because of course Athena is dead by this point. Then we have Poseidon, Hermes, Zeus, and Hades himself. And then uh, Helios, I think. The gold of sunlight using his flaming chariot to pull the sun across the skies. And then the messenger gold. Hades, of course, the god of the underworld. And a very, very creepy visualization of uh, Hades himself, if I might say so. And then Zeus himself. This is Hercules. Another son of Zeus. But yeah, Gaia doesn't really care about that. Smash. So Gaia is, of course, kind of the personification of Mother Earth in Greek mythology. And there we have the Blade of Olympus again. So yeah, it's interesting that uh, Zeus called Kratos um, the mortal, because of course we know by now that uh, he's talking about his own son. So as you can see, there's a lot more enemies in normal God of War, and I'm getting used to the controls again. There we go. I think we need to, yeah. So the launching attacks, as I spoke about in... In previous God of, God of Wars, no, not the previous God of Wars, the, the launching attack in these, in the trilogy, is gone from the new God of War. And that's gonna be something I need to get used to again. So of course the Blades of Chaos, we saw that in New God of War as well, coming back as a new weapon. While it is of course his uh, signature weapon. And there we have Poseidon, the God of the Seas. Going, uh, yeah, showing off his powers, cause this... Blammo! Straight through a Titan. And of course, going uh, towards his turf. And... Bloof, into the ocean. Bringing about his full power. The trees on the side there give you a bit of scale of how big all of this is. And there we go, because this was amazing at the time. Something has me, you can see in the back what's happening, because there's another Titan going down. And Gaia asks us to free her. She puts out the fire that Helios put there. And uh, yeah, this was amazing at the time, because this is an entirely movable level. I need to attack, I need to just attack, because... There we go, that's the blocking button, that still works. Because we already have our abilities, which is fine. Just need to get used to everything again. There we go. There we go. So let's just pull this up. No healing in this game, by the way. Unless you find a healing chest. But no healing during combat. No special abilities. No... Yeah, no nothing. Because there's nothing of an RPG element to this. Aside from gathering red orbs and upgrading everything a bit. So that's dodging. And I'm just gonna keep going around the arm while the other titans are just climbing in the back. Because of course Gaia is stuck at the moment. And there we have the uh yeah, I would say the water crab horse. It's it's a weird boss battle this is. I think I can block that, but we have to be careful. Just go to the sides, once we know where the attacks are going. Then go sideways again. There we go, square, 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 and triangle, that's gonna be the biggest one. So it's through her arm, and it's kind of a tentacle thing, so now we're doing this upside down. Which side is it gonna be? Which side is it gonna be? 
There we go. Getting her hand back a bit, and now we need to go all the way up there again. And on the wall now, because Kratos just hanging on for dear life. Um, so straight in the middle, need to dodge that next time. Most of our combos actually work on walls as well. Yeah, just gonna take that to the face because apparently can't really dodge that. There we go. On towards the next stage. Blamo! One, two, three, four, and blamo! Okay. Nope, didn't dodge that. Didn't dodge that at all. So dodging is a bit finicky because it works with the analog sticks. Look at this horsey thingy. He hit me. Oh, damn it, he hit me. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yep, oh, there we go. Death. <laughs> so checkpoints are pretty old school, so we're uh, we were put all the way back to the beginning of the fight, so. Got a bit more health this time. Get to the side, yeah. That's a third of my health bar going down there. That should just stay close only when he's going for the claw attacks. I just do that. And then get close again. That was a hit. I think I called him now. There we go, I think. And then circle to grab. And now we get one of those uh, fancy quick time events. As is customary in God of War. Well, not anymore so much in the new one, of course. Because I wanted to get away from that. But it does give us some very cinematic combat. So there goes the lower jaw of the horse. And yeah, this game is going to be a bit more brutal than uh, the new God of War. Some of the death animations are horrible. And there we go. That's a signature move. We've seen that in the new one as well. So, Mount Olympus. So that's just gonna climb a bit, because yeah, there's also climbing sections in all the God of Wars. Not just in the new one. Getting up. And there we can see Hades in the background, pulling down another Titan. Ooh, there he goes. Uh, nope, R1. And there we go, red orbs. I just want to use the red stick for the camera, but of course the camera is fixed in uh, God of War. The older God of Wars. And there we have the horse again, going for the leg of Gaia. Still moving along the edge in the background there, but uh, it's not about me at the moment. Goodbye Gaia, gonna get back for you in a second. Just need to get past this ledge as a tiny human. So, there we go. That's the dodge triangle, the dodge heavy attack. I can't see anything because I'm really on a tiny corner of the screen. There we go, grab attack. Let's just grab this guy as well. Because I lost a bit of health on those guys. There we go, going back up. As long as I hit everything, I should be fine. There's one crawling towards me. There he goes. And then just grab this guy and... Yep, there is head off. So yeah, a lot more brutal than even the new ones because... The new one was actually pretty calm on the on the old executioner animations. And the enemies were less bloody because they were mostly the drug were really gold infused. Where the hell do I need to go? I need to go up, I think, but I just want to check out. Yeah. Okay, so let's go up this ledge. Read that. The chain of balance, its unrivaled strength secures the bond between the okay. Yeah, yeah, come, come on. Between the Olympus and the Underworld. So this chain attaches Olympus to the Underworld. Which is of course a bit of foreshadowing for what we're gonna do. Tornado! So nice touch is that even the female zombie war- uh, the, the archer zombie warriors are actually female. Which is uh, a bit weird. Let's just jump towards the ladders. So not typical Draugr as we've seen in, uh, of course, because that's Northern mythology. There we go. But just plain old Spartan zombie creatures. I don't think they actually used a name for that. There we have the uh, the Fire Titan. 
the Lava Titan just trying to get rid of uh, getting pelted by Helios. And there he goes. Because we need to get back to uh, Gaia. There she is. Oh, horse tra straight through the chest. But she, uh, she got hold of it. She's going to put that down, if I recall correctly. There we go. And there we go, gliding, because we have the Icarus wings from the previous game also equipped. And I kind of forgot how to use my magic attacks, but uh, never mind. Let's just head into the building and uh, pull this open. Because, yeah, we still need to push buttons in this game. And then we probably get something fancy. But first, book. Book? No? No book? Okay. Aha! The centaurs. Yeah, it's been a long time since I played this game the first time around. And there we go. Combo with that. But I think I'm gonna die. Because those extra enemies are really annoying. And then we can grab him. There we go. Circle. Kind of missed that with the head indicator there. And the awesome animation of just disemboweling the entire centaur. Rups a daisy. Yeah, intestines all over the place. And just grab this guy's head off. There we go. Oh, that was a tiny bit of health, I think. I go back. I'm wondering if I can actually go outside the room again to get the the health. Yeah, yeah, God of War, we get it, we get it, we need to jump across. No, we can't open the door again. But there is a lever here. And the book, let's read the book. The book actually gives us a nice backstory. Here lie the remains of Ares, the previous God of War. So, because you can see him underneath the eyes, the fallen God of War. Which is, uh, yeah, just a nod towards the first game. I think I need to pull this lever and then quickly go... So that's gonna drop down the, yeah, the platform. I can then jump across and get on top of the platform. Then it should bring us back. There we go, not really a big platforming puzzle. But there we go. Uh, more red orbs for us. And I think that is a save point, if I recall correctly. Just allowing me to save. So that's the tomb of Ares. Is there something behind the back here? No. This is not really collectibles in this game, aside from a few uh, combat enhancers. And you know what? Let me enable subtitles. Okay. Maybe after this. Because I just got attacked by a horse. A water horse. A water crab horse. That's stuck through the chest of a titan. And I have no health, by the way. And another claw through her mouth. Oh, I got my health back. I think I can block most of his attacks. Maybe not that one. Oh, I did get hit by it. That was ridiculous. Let's get tired from that attack. And just keep battering it until it's completely out of stamina, kinda. I think it's kind of stamina, because this thing is kind of alive, even though it's created by uh, Poseidon. And there we go. Final smash in the face, and we can grab it again, because it's the same thing as before, because it's missing its lower jaw. Open that up. Block the claw. Block the second claw with the swords in a really, really awesome fashion. Grab onto it. And then swing around. And in typical God of War fashion, let's use its own weapons against it. Because now we can actually, I think, yeah, it's going to be in a second where we need to damage it a bit more. Ah, it's R2 is the magic attack. Okay, there we go, tornado. Double tornado and it's down. And just alternating L1 and R1 to rip open its heart kind of I suppose now we're gonna just gonna go for this thing grab it um, 
ram it inside its hearts. And one more extra push. Goodbye. And Gaia seems to uh, recover from that, even though it went straight through her face. And I think, is this the point? Yeah, we're going to be able to get back into her shoulder where we actually started. But now there's a, a big hole in there. So let's go inside the hole. And there's the actual floor in here. Because uh, I think, yeah, we can, ooh, that's, ooh, something's wrong with the texture of the wall there. Just close your eyes to that. And to that. That's a bit weird. And there we have the heart of Gaia. Just beating in its in all its rooty glory. And blue stuff guarding it, of course, because you don't want to get your heart exposed. Kind of reminds you of a really, really uh, obvious video game boss with an obvious weak spot. There we go. So we're still heading up Olympus and we need to help out Gaia. That's why we're here. Uh, although, I mean, it's Kratos, so we're not really helping anybody. We're just using people to get, to get our... Because uh, this is bad Kratos, not Kratos you saw in the in the new Girl of War. This is horrible Kratos. This is Kratos that just doesn't care. But yeah, because it's the other wall I need to go through. So I need to rotate it and I put it in this slot. There we go. So we can now get up. Which of course the helpful camera shows us. So yeah, that's why I was talking about at the beginning of the new God of War, that the camera was a really big switch from getting that over the shoulder view. Because uh, in all the other God of Wars, we just get a fixed cinematic camera, which you can't move at all. Which doesn't help in some fights. Usually it does a, a pretty good job of showing everything. Um, and then we have another grappling point. And there we go, back up top. Press circle to grab an enemy and then use them as a battering ram. Kind of forgot about that move. These guys are quickly. There we go. You can also just grab them and pull their head off. There we go. And grab this guy's head off. And then this guy's crawling, so let's finish that guy off. There we go. There are three heads. And going back up again, and then a bit of a fight on the wall. Usually nothing too hard, because of course they can't put many enemies on top of a wall. And you can just swipe them, because you have immense range. There we go, pulling ourselves up through the attaching point, the grappling point. And on top of Gaia's head. But there, of course, there's another uh, horsey. But there's more than one. There's another one. You challenge me, mortal. A god of Olympus. And there we have Poseidon. A true warrior does not hide, Poseidon. Leave the sea and face me. You have disrespected the gods for the last time, Kratos. And there we go. So he immobilizes Gaia. And now it's up to us to just get rid of those claws. Because of course that's what's keeping uh, them here. Just gonna focus on one side at the beginning. Ooh, that was half my health. Should not get hit by that. I think I died. There we go, so the shock attacks we need to just avoid. And then I'm gonna use another magic attack. If there's always one part of the screen that's actually available to us. There we go. Part one complete. Kratos, jump, to my hand. jump to my hand. Okay. There we go. Now we're pretty close to Poseidon himself. Smashed against the wall. And now we get a bit of health back, I think. Yeah, we get our health back. And block everything he can throw at me, I think, at this point. Or not. So I need to pull back when he does that and then roll underneath his first attack. Pull him up. And there we go. So now we can grab Poseidon if we... Okay. Oh no, I need to get to the... 
to the wall here, get up. Oh god. You will fail. Yeah, I think I died. It was too slow. It was way too slow. Yeah, this time I'm gonna go for it. So I managed to do it in the same life. He didn't hit me once. So there we go, all the way up. And grab his head. There we go. Smacked against Gaia. And now it's time to open up that heart of his. Let's need to get to that, right? That's his obvious weak spot. Smack. And bam! Open that up nicely. But he's not dead yet, he just lost his uh, his armor. And there we go, back to Gaia's head. It's the same as before, we just need to get rid of the claws. But I think there's going to be another attack that's been added. There we go, that's one down. And then we can do it on the other side. Oh. Yeah, that was twice in a row, couldn't do anything about that. And they have both arms, and now a giant titan punch! Blocked by uh, Poseidon himself, of course. Look at that! There's plenty of those. And grab, and swing him from one to the next. In between that one and releasing the fist and it's going on pulling back again and punch and Kratos jumping off the punch grabbing Poseidon out of his chest his watery chest and now yeah the quality is a bit lower because of course these are the original cutscenes which they didn't redo so that way it looks a bit worse than before because they remade the game but not the cutscene sadly enough and there goes the water horse. So yeah, Poseidon is traditionally also the god of horses, which is fitting. But now, for our revenge, if you're a sensitive viewer, Zeus should have kept you please look you away belong. now. No matter how many gods fall, there will always be another to stand against you. They will fall as well. The death of Olympus means the death of us all. Then prepare for your death, Poseidon. And now we can grab his ass, and we get a first person murdering. Headbutt, and punch, punch. Yeah, we're watching this from Poseidon's viewpoint. And a kick to the face. And of course we know why Kratos can do this to a god, because of course he's a half god himself. And now again, headbutt him into submission, smack his head against the walls, and then the, ouch, the horrifying ending, straight into a wall, back to first person, yeah, this is going to be a bit confusing, because we're watching it from uh, Poseidon's viewpoint, he's going to crawl, try and crawl back to the seas, of course, but no, no, not, 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 Kratos doesn't want any of that, there we go, ice gouged out. And neck snapped. Goodbye, Poseidon. And this is very interesting. So what happens when a god responsible for the seas dies? Well, this. There is a gigantic flood that murders everybody. And the sea rises immensely. So that's one of the reasons why I don't think... Uh, the new God of War takes place in the same realm because the sea levels rise a lot in this scene and it's not just what we're shown in uh, the new God of War but that's the first step so we killed the God of the Seas Kratos, and everything the floods reach. Climb to my so if the seas rose uh, over here seas are, are of course universal so when one if the sea rises, then everything should rise. So, uh, the Lake of Nine should have risen a lot further than that. Because, yeah, we can assume that the Lake of Nine just 
the, 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 the water level rose just because of the snake of Jormungandr and not because of what happened with Poseidon. Because that's what Cory Balrog told us. The director of the what new God of War. Do, that it was the you same realm, but kind of next to each other. But I don't think the gods would even allow that. Dead because of the rage that consumes you, Kratos. What more will you destroy? The hands of death could not defeat me. The sisters of fate could not hold me. And you will not see the end of this day. I will have my revenge! Excellent child! I will tolerate your insolence no more! Gaia tries to grab Zeus, but of course Zeus being the almighty god of thunder just utterly eviscerates both Kratos and Gaia. All the way down Mount Olympus. Gaia! I can hold on no longer! If I help you, we will both fall. Even now, Zeus gains. The destruction of Zeus is why you saved me from death! I saved you all to serve the Titans! Do not deny me my revenge! Listen carefully, Kratos. You were a simple pawn, nothing more. Zeus is no longer your concern. This is our war, not yours! Gaia! So there we go, betrayed again. Used by the gods as a pawn and now used by the titans as a pawn. And we go all the way down. And of course you know where we're heading. I have lived as a warrior. I have died as a god. Having suffered the ultimate sacrifice. I have been denied release. I... I will defeat Olympus. I will have my revenge. Sploosh! Into the river Styx, the river of souls. As you can see, there's, yeah, there's like a lot of corpses in this thing. The river Styx. And they're draining my life force out of me. Because, of course, they're clinging to every bit of life they can find. And, uh, yeah, if you don't know uh, what happened to Kratos' wife and child, he uh, he originally got his powers from Ares, the god of war, uh, to serve as a pawn uh, in, his, uh, in his wars. Uh, but Ares didn't feel like Kratos was efficient enough, so uh, he decided to uh, trick Kratos into killing his own family. So in a blood-filled rage, in a, while he was clearing out an entire village, his uh, wife and child were among the people there, and Kratos accidentally cut down his own wife and daughter. So that's why he uh, was plagued with nightmares. He's covered in the ashes of his dead wife and child as a curse. And uh, yeah, he has wanted to get rid of those nightmares ever since. He uh, went to the gods for help, but even after he eventually even killed Ares, who was uh, trying to get rid of the other gods as well, they didn't release him from his nightmares. So that's what started his revenge. Death cannot hold those with purpose, Kratos. And there we have Ghost Athena. Athena. I have missed you, Spartan. I... I don't. Yeah, he doesn't. Brought me to a higher existence. You still appear to be an Olympian. Appearances can be deceiving, Kratos. So can the children of Olympus. Perhaps. But remember, my death came by your blade. My blade was meant for Zeus. Be quick with your words. As we speak, the war for Olympus rages on. 
and mankind suffers. Let them suffer. The death of Zeus is all that matters. Zeus will not fall as easily as Ares. To destroy the king of the gods, you must seek the source of his strength. The flame of Olympus. You once sacrificed yourself to save Zeus, and now you seek to destroy him? What has brought about this change? I see truth where I do not perform. And there we go, the blades look a bit destroyed because they're not as shiny as they were before. These are the blades of exile. They will help guide you on your journey to the flame. New blades! So I love how they switched around this conversation in the new God of War. So in this conversation, Kratos is the rage-filled madman trying to get his revenge. And uh, Athena is kind of the voice of reason, kind of friendly almost, uh, trying to soothe his pain. And in the new one, it was the other way around. So Athena was really, really angry. And uh, Kratos was the one that was calm. Here is the end of the great journey that all must embark on where none can turn back. Hades. So Hades is both the name of the god of the underworld as the name for the underworld itself. And uh, with that done, we're gonna take a little break after I murdered these guys around. Oh yeah, I lost all my new attacks as well. So I can't do any combos anymore. And there we go, the distance grapple. Okay, getting this into my fingers again. Uh, let's just let's just say. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, for the rest of the week, where Gwent releases tomorrow for me, because this is the first time I'm actually uh, recording on the same day I'm going to release this episode. So uh, Gwent will also join the weekly schedule, but more on that later on. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Gold of War 3. Goodbye.